Hey guys, Tone here, and welcome to another episode in my 2019 7 Day Roguelike Challenge Showcase. Today we'll be highlighting Run to the Stairs, a dungeon racing game with roguelike elements. This was created by Gerhard Vonner, and I do apologize if I mispronounce that. And this is a, a cool procedurally generated racing game, and it's another case of a game where simple mechanics breed uh, very deep strategies. It's something I like and a lot of roguelikes. Um, so let's check it out. Uh, so how it works is you're racing against all these runners. So you can see the ranking here on the side. And it actually tells you how far everyone is from the exit. So you know exactly where you are um, in relation to them. And the, the advantage the player gets, the main one, is that you can move diagonally, um, but the other runners can only move in four directions. So you get a pretty big advantage there already. And also there's some randomization into how they move. They're not all taking the optimal path, so you can get an edge there. Um, you get a straightforward path here, but it is based on four-way movement, so it's not always the purely best path. You're kind of restricted to your vision. That's what you can see. So sometimes you got to guess and take chances on whether a path is going to end right off screen or not. Um, and as you progress deeper into the, the dungeon or like each next level, the other racers get faster. So right here you can see our speed is 100% and the others is 100%. But every uh, level, the other racers get faster and they progressively get faster. It's not linear. So at some point they will always be faster than you and you will lose. You can't go forever. And how the player gets faster is you pick up upgrades. That exclamation point is a nitro, which doubles your speed for 10 turns. I don't think it's worth going out of our way for right now, so we'll move past that. But you can also get uh, coins, which give you additional score. And then you can also get a speed upgrade, which gives you 10% speed. So those are really valuable. Um, so let's move ahead. It looks like we're... Well, Runner F is doing pretty poorly. We got to catch up to these guys, so I think the diagonal movement should help us a lot. Runner B down there. Just follow this path that we're given. That orange asterisk over there is a speed upgrade. We definitely want to go out of our way to get that. I, I, look at that nice little sound effect there. I'll even poke over and grab that coin. So how the scoring works is... I believe it's 10, 6, 4, 3, 2, 1, based on your ranking. That's how many points you get at the end of the round. Um, if you la land in 7, 8, or ninth place, you lose and the game ends. Um, so you get 1 point, 2, 3, and 4. So it's kind of just one extra point for all those. And then to jump up to 2, you get 6, so you get an extra point. And jump up to 1, you get 10. So you get a lot of extra points for getting in first place. So that's where you want to be. I believe these dollar signs, these coins, give us one extra point. So they're worth going out of our way for if we're only going to lose one position for it. Um, but not one of the top three. But this looks like it's only going to cost us, what, three moves to grab. Um, so I think that's going to be worth it. The first few levels, especially now that we have a speed upgrade, we're faster than everyone else. And we get um, diagonal movement. Uh, the first few levels should be easier, so I think it's most worth going out of your way to grab things in these first few levels. Uh, this Nitro is actually an interesting decision to try and grab. Kind of want to pass on it. It depends. If we think we can easily get first place on this floor, it's well worth going out of our way for things. I'm going to leave that Nitro there, though. Because we might want to grab other things. Like, here's another speed upgrade. Those are the things that we really want. I'm definitely going to go out of my way. I'm not going to count every little detail, but it looks like we can get through here without using too many turns anyways because of the map layout. We found runner G. They're barely ahead of us, and they're about 30 turns, about 25 ahead of the first place. I'm going to poke my head up here because it looks like they're about the same distance, but I thought maybe we'd be able to see more upgrades. I'm going to come down here. So here's a good situation. We know that the fastest path that we're being given, again, it's not fastest for our diagonal movement necessarily. It's straight to the right. But the exit could be up, up top or lower. So either one of these paths we could divert to, and it might not actually change um, 
it might it might even be faster to be honest it's not going to change um our speed too much if we choose the right one i definitely want to go out of the way for this um speed upgrade even if we have to end up detouring and going back this way and i may as well grab the coin while i'm down there so let's do this our path changed we know that this didn't even send us out of our way that much now that speed upgrade on the left is probably not worth it. If this diverted down here, I might have considered doing that. I think that coin's gonna be worth grabbing. So we're gonna go this way and tilt back up. I'm just gonna kind of poke down here. I think moving on a diagonal like this, if the, the line shifts just from that one tile, we know that there's, it, it gives us some information. So I think it's worth looking at that. I'm not going to grab that coin. I think I'm going to head diagonally down. I think it might even be faster diagonals considered. Maybe not. Hmm. So we're going to get stuck behind these guys in this choke point. I might actually go around. Well, this actually stops here, so I know the exit is up higher. I don't know. If I saw this coming before, it might have been useful. Oh, we don't have any nitros. Sometimes the nitros are good just for getting ahead of someone in front of a choke point. I wonder... Hmm... It... So we're 30% faster than these guys. Our speed is 130 relative to their 100. We get roughly 4 moves for every 3 of theirs. Don't think it's worth going out of the way because we're going to give up quite a bit of moves there. Now, if this connects right up here, it might be worth it, but I can't guarantee that. So I'm just going to follow these guys behind, even if I have to wait for them. You can sometimes cut them off at the corners here. Like that. I'm going to move ahead of this guy. And hopefully we can get ahead of this A. Hmm. There's 24 moves between them and the exit. There's a room. We're going to catch up to this guy in this corridor. If the exit is on this corridor with no lines, then we're kind of screwed as far as beating this guy into first place. And this looks way too slow, so I don't want to go around that way. So we're just going to follow this guy and hope that there's a, a point. Okay, it's very good that we didn't go up. Okay, it looks like there's a, an opening here. We can probably get around him. Oh man, it's so tight. I might even use this nitro to get ahead. I have to. Oh, this is going to be crazy. All right. Oh. Let's see when we get our double turn. We both move there. We both move there. I think if I don't get a free turn now, I'll get it next turn. So I should be able to get the exit before them. Because again, I should be getting... There's a little bit of a nom or a variable here because I'm not exactly one-third faster, but for every three moves, I should get a free one. And we just moved twice in stride. So here, I got a free one there. Yes. I'll jump them. We're now leading. And wow, right to the wire, right to the finish line. <laughs> that one went. But we jumped from second to first, which is four extra points. It's huge. Let's jump in. So we picked up, we got 10 points for being in first place. We picked up three coins, so we got 13. So not a bad start. I would have liked more speed upgrades. Um, we got a nitro at the end there. I feel like you really need to accumulate items early on when you can kind of go out of the way and still get, you know, a first or second uh ranking at the end so hopefully in the next few floors we can really pick up some upgrades because you don't get a lot of speed upgrades early you're just going to get punished later on so this is telling me to go this way i almost wonder if i can go out and grab this and then come back around hopefully this connects if we waited a turn to see where this h went it would probably tell us whether up or down um, was a dead end or not I'm just going to keep following the path, though, because if we try to chase this guy down here, we might get stuck behind them, which wouldn't be good, because right now we're still faster than them. 130 versus their 105. See, they went up 5% this time. I believe they're going to go 10% next time, so they'll be at 115. Or maybe it's every other square or level that they get an extra 5%. We'll pay attention to that. But 
Um, they get very fast very quickly. You gotta take advantage of these early levels and they're slower than you. I'm gonna jump out of the way here. Because you're just getting double movement. If I use this this uh, Nitro right away, it would be worth grabbing it. I'm not going to use it right away though. I need, I'm gonna save it for situational. I think I might duck down here so I don't get caught behind this F. Oh look. They got all jumbled up so they started running around. I th they saw that the E was blocking their path. So I was going to get stuck behind something one way or another. But the C and the F backed off. That worked out really well for us. I definitely want to grab this. And if this changed down at any point, I would have grabbed this, but I feel like this looks like it could end up going well out of our way based on the path, so I'm not going to bother grabbing that single coin. Yeah, it hasn't even tried connecting yet. So that would have kind of connected here. That might not have been that bad, honestly, because we would have got a nitro out of it as well. There's a nitro on the upper left there. But that's well out of our way. Um, so we're actually in third place right now, and we're we're only 10 moves behind first, and there's 122 moves to the exit. So we have a lot of flexibility here to go out of our way if we see anything we want. I probably could have went out of our way even to grab that coin if I wanted. There's one up here though, so let's grab this. So B is only two tiles behind this guy, steps to the exit. So this must connect, because if they had to run all the way down here, they'd be w way more than two tiles away. I'm actually gonna grab both of these. Ooh, let's think about that. I was, I was about to say I wanted to grab both of these nitros, but I want that orange speed upgrade that we just saw more. Now the question is, would grabbing both of these and then coming back, if I had to use both of these, end up being faster. Because that would double our speed for 10 moves. So let's just say this gives us 20 free moves, even though it's a little bit more complicated than that. How many moves does it take to grab these? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Hmm. Just short, honestly. I'm just gonna go for the speed upgrade down here. So, I decided to jump up. That's one of the advantages of moving diagonally is we can move laterally while still moving forward without really any, literally no penalty actually. If I jumped up, this was showing us this way, but I jumped up here and it shifted. So I know both of these are at the same distance. And now that we've revealed more, we can see that it's literally the same distance for us. I'm gonna jump down so we don't get stuck behind that D. We can grab this coin for free. Jumping down here was a little tempting. Eh, just going straight down. We wanna take advantage of diagonals when we can, just so we could have seen more of the map and maybe found some upgrades. So we're comfortably in first place. That looks like it's like a dead end. I was looking at those that coin and that asterisk down there, that speed upgrade, but I think they're too far out of the way. Grab this and move on. So we got 12 extra points there, 10 for first and two for two coin upgrades. We're at 150% speed. I'd still like to get that up. And let's move to the next level. Yeah, they just jumped from 105 to 115. So they went from 100 to 105 to 115. So presumably they'll hit 130 next time, then 150. Every floor, they get an extra 5% faster on the last one. So it, it scales pretty quickly. So we're kind of stuck. Let's see if we can maybe overtake one of these guys. Guess not. Oops. I keep doing that. Moving into them kind of... So I guess you don't lose anything over waiting by bumping into them. I bet you can't time when you hit these corners a little better. It's, it would be nice to surpass them. I guess you could if you use a nitro. Maybe I should use a nitro here. 
I'm not gonna get rid of that G. Definitely surpass the H. I wonder if I could have gotten ahead of the G. I might have been able to. That would have been worth it, because we would get well more than... We're stuck at this guy's speed right now, 115%. Something I haven't really worked out in my head yet is how you can like tactically use nitros to like get a free turn on a specific turn. Like I should use one here. What is our relative, relative speed right now? It's 150 to their 115. We're moving about 30% faster than them. If I use a nitro, we'd be at what 300%? Is that how it works? I guess so, right? So we'd be moving. We'd get be getting what like two and a half turns for every one of theirs. I think I'm gonna use a nitro to overpass this guy. We only have two. Eh, actually, I'm not gonna do that because we're gonna overpass them here anyways. Ooh. So again, instead of just moving straight down the path, I moved diagonally, and I was just gonna jump up here if the path didn't change. But now it's showing me that this is free. Instead of getting stuck behind these guys, I'm going to just fly past all of them down this lower track. Lose a Nitro, which may not have been worth it, but I didn't know that was there when I took this path. I think it's stuck behind the C. So Runner A is well in the lead. We're about, wow, how'd they get so up there so fast? I guess while we were stuck behind all those slow pokes in the back, uh, maybe A was just making haste. We're about 50 turns behind them, and they're only 80 from the exit. I don't even know if it's gonna be possible for us to catch up to that, not at our relative speeds right now. We can get second place easily, but I think first place is lost. I'm gonna go grab the speed upgrade in the bottom. I think we're just giving up on first place and we're just gonna bank on getting second. Let's just collect some upgrades on the way now. We should have a lot of flexibility to run out of the run um, out of the path to grab upgrades if we want to. I don't see anything over there. Let's just go. So yeah, it creates all these risk reward decisions um, based on well, how many turns do you lose by going out of the way and how much do you gain by getting the upgrade. You can kind of figure out exactly, at least on your current map, whether any decision is worth going for or not if you have full map data. If you're chancing that if you're guessing that there might be a path there and then you're wrong, then you could lose many more turns. But if you can see the full path that it would take to go out of your way to grab an upgrade, then you can kind of say, well, this upgrade is going to save me this many turns. Only on that level, though. On future floors, you don't know like how big of an advantage it's going to give you. Because like, especially these speed upgrades, th those are permanent. So each one you get, it lasts for the rest of the game. So those can have very long-lasting effects. The nitros are a little bit easier to figure out. But as you saw, it's not necessarily just 10 free turns. If you use it to skip an, another runner in a corridor, you get a much bigger advantage. Because you, If you'd be stuck by like a guy in a long corridor when you're faster than them, you're losing a lot of turns. That's what happened to us on that last floor, why that runner A got ahead of us so much. We were stuck behind the other guys for a long time in the beginning. Now let's move on to level four. So their speed should jump to 130 now. And we're definitely going to grab this speed upgrade. Ooh, look at this path. It went from going all the way this way to all the way down. Interesting. There's a nitro over there, but I don't think it's worth our time. I'll grab this one, though. We've got six of those. I don't even think I've used one yet. I get ahead of this guy. So we're at 170 to their 130. 
who are, again, 30% faster than them. We'll get about four moves to every three of theirs. I need, what, two moves to get ahead of this guy? Again, he can't move diagonally, which is an advantage for us. So he's going to move one, two, three, four, five. Well, I'm going to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's see when I get my free move. I did it there, so I'm going to get ahead of this guy. Right there. And look, it further derailed him because now he doesn't want to go this way, which he should realize that I'm faster than him, so he's not going to pass me anyways. This isn't really blocked for him, um, but it appears to be. So now he's running off to some longer um, trail. So that guy's out of the race, essentially. This is right in the path of an upgrade, which is nice. So we're going to have plenty of um, room here to get around this E, so I don't have to worry about getting stuck behind him. Uh, two speed upgrades here. This is fantastic. And D is ahead of us. We're only behind by, what, eight turns? Seven turns? And there is 130 turns to the exit, so we have plenty of time to get ahead of this guy and like even go out of our way and grab some exits, or, I'm sorry, to grab some upgrades still end up in first place but we should take a lot of advantage of that i wonder if if this wraps around here i want to grab that it does we have plenty of time just to play around with now we've already won that doesn't seem to connect so i definitely want to fall back here oh, those upgrade sounds are music to my ears I even have enough time to like, there's nothing up there. So if you can get ahead of them early, then you can, we only had that freedom to run around and do that because of how, how much faster we got relative to everyone else early on. And how many score upgrades did I just get? We didn't only get 10 points for first, but I got a ton of score upgrades just running around like that. And we got a ton of speed. We were at, what, 150? No, we were at 170, and I got up to 210. That's a nice boost there. We're at 44 now. That was huge. I think we were at 31 last time. I don't re exactly remember. So another 13 points, if that's accurate. That's not bad at all. Um, so let's move to level 5. So we're up to 150 now. So we need to find two speed upgrades just to match their, their rate um, right now. The rate of them getting faster, I should say. Hmm. We go up, even though we get stuck behind this guy. Nice. Worked out. Your free action lines up on that diagonal. Ooh, so do I, do I go out of the way to grab this? So runner E. This must connect because he's got less space at steps to the exit than us. I assume this counts the red trail. I'm actually going to go out of my way and grab this. Runner A has a big advantage right Oh, look at that. Now, is this worth our time? I'm going to use a Nitro and grab it. Well, I shouldn't use a Nitro now, but I'm going to be prepared to use a Nitro. I wonder where E is going. Yeah, I really need to catch up, though. Runner A. I may have screwed ourselves on Runner A, actually, on getting first place. Maybe that last dollar sign wasn't worth it. I can use these nitros. We're gonna fall get further behind. Oh, that sound effect. But it let us lap that C. We'll be able to lap this B natural. Well, right there, actually. I was gonna say at the, the opening there. What is our relative speed? So I'm at 220 and they're at 150. I'm actually using a calculator right now. So we're 47% faster than them. So we get three actions to their two. If I pop a, a double speed, what's that going to put us at? 
we get three actions to their one. So there's, runner A has 24 moves to the exit. And we are, what, like 16 behind them? I don't want to do all the math. I don't like thinking about math too much when I'm playing um, games like this. I'm, I think if I just keep using nitros here, four will take us to the exit. I think we can actually lap A. And I'm just guessing. I didn't really crunch the numbers on that. So let's do it. Oops. Shit. I think I screwed that up. I spent a few actions here without being under Nitro. We could have done this, but now A has one, two, three. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we might be able to. <gasps> we got it. All right, so I didn't... <laughs> <laughs> screw myself as bad as that could have been bad if I moved one extra time before realizing that we would have gotten beaten there wow um so yeah this is a run to the stairs that's kind of the the preview and the demo so I mean the rest of the game just kind of plays on like this I'm just going to keep going um with this video until we get to the end though I want to see if I can get a new high score um, I didn't notice this. I guess when you start, it doesn't calculate their, their moves yet. I'm going to go... We definitely want to grab this, which seems to be along our path. So let's head up this way. So we can see right away what kind of catching up we have to do. They're at 175 now, so... We were far ahead of them last time, and now they've caught up pretty well in uh, our relative speed. You can play this game pretty fast without like putting like a ton of thought into it. You don't have to crunch numbers quite as much as I've been kind of doing. And I wasted a turn here. I don't want to jump down here. I wonder... Gotta connect, right? Ooh, maybe it won't. Could have been a bad idea. So H is turning down. Ah, I was afraid they'd move there. I should use a nitro to get ahead of them. I was going to grab this. It would have canceled out. But now I'm stuck behind them. I think I need to go up. B. So I want to try and get ahead of B, but I also want to go and grab this speed upgrade. I'm going to find the nitro and see if that'll give me the speed I need. Ooh, that was close. I also derailed them. Oh, look how far A is. Do I need to do what I did last time and just try and crank nitros to get ahead of them? We're at 270 to their 175. We're getting three actions to their two. If I pop a nitro. I'll be getting three to their one. They got 15. I'm 35 away. So we could technically beat them on steps alone if I use nitros, four nitros here. If we get stuck in a corridor, which tends to happen on the stairs, we might not, it might not work. I'm gonna go for it though. Oh sweet, there's an easy place for us to lap them here. Beautiful. Right in the end. Getting some close exits here. I guess we're um, playing pretty close to the, <laughs> the the break point on going out and grabbing some of these upgrades. But they're getting fast. Like, look how fast we're about to get here. 175 to 205. Far 270. All right, we're not that far behind the fastest guy here, which is runner C. That's a good sign. Speed upgrade right along our path. I like that. Oh, it moved the wrong way. I don't know how I my brain hit that wrong key. I knew what I wanted to do. So we just wasted a few turns. Three actions or so wasted there. Should we go out of our way for this? Heck yeah, look, we're in the lead by quite a bit actually. 
I don't even need to use a, a nitro. I wonder if this will connect. It does not. Okay, because we're still moving faster than them. Awesome, I'll grab that. That was a great floor for us. We're quickly getting ahead of these guys. So this just measures your flat score. I, I've often, or I've wondered like, how the strategy would change if your goal was really to maximize your points differential on this board, the next runner. It's definitely interesting uh, to consider. Can I grab that nitro? I think I'd have to use one to grab it. Would it advantage us? If I get stuck behind that H, it's not worth it at all. We're getting five actions to their four, I think. If I double my speed. We're getting about two and a half to their one. This guy needs one, two, three, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. We can easily grab that. I'm gonna pop a nitro. So we're back where we started, and I have a few turns of nitro left. So we just got a minor. We we got like three free turns of double speed there by doing that. So not bad. Do I need to pop another nitro soon to get ahead of these guys? Looks like there's a lot of open area there, so let's see if... Hmm... I could probably use a Nitro to get ahead of the G before we hit that choke point, but I think I'm just gonna get stuck behind the F anyways. Just wait it out. I'm actually gonna go up. I have this upgrade here. Wants to go that way. Follow it. Okay. I was actually wondering if this ran parallel for a while. It's a good thing I didn't act on that. So based on the area that the screen shows you, you kind of have to make some decisions. You have to say, does this path, you know, line up, or does it is it a dead end? Definitely an interesting part of the game. Like right here, we're in that situation. If this connects eventually, it's probably worth grabbing this nitro. We don't know that for sure. I kind of poked up here to see if the path would change because if it's ran this way, then we knew that they're relatively close. Um, but it looks like that's not the case. So I'm gonna have to get stuck behind this D. E. Oh, they connect right there. It actually would have been worth it. Is it still worth it? Probably not. I think it'd be slower than just having one nitro. I'm actually going to go out of the way here. I want to get ahead of this D. Ooh, I definitely want to grab that speed upgrade down there. So this doesn't look worth it because it doesn't look like this would connect. I should just go right and I should be able to get there before the D does. I think. Yes. Ooh, that was close. Maybe a little too close. All right, good. That E's not going to block us in a corridor. Oh, he will there. I'm going to kick double speed. Get ahead of this E. Man, runner A. Already made it. Oh, man, that was close, too. Ooh, all right. Things are getting tough. We're at 310 and they're at 280, so we are at almost the same speed. Things are getting tough. Again, we can move on diagonals, so even though those speeds are pretty close, we have a pretty significant advantage compared to them. 
Man, too bad I couldn't get ahead of this guy. Ooh. So this is a tempting thing to go after. Do we want to go for that? I kind of do. Oh, this does connect over here. It'll be well worth it. Oh, we still stay ahead of that F. Very nice. So we're about 30 turns behind runner B that's in first. You gotta prioritize getting in first place over some of these upgrades now. It's getting a little trickier since the early levels is pretty easy to get in first, but now we can't really detour too much, otherwise we lose. I'm gonna detour for this. Oh shit, can I? So even though it's like 15 squares away, I actually only have a handful to get ahead of A. It was grabbing a 10% speed upgrade worth losing, what, three points from six to six to four. It's two points. I don't think it is at this point in the game. Hmm. It would either have to extend us two whole floors, or let us get in first or second on a future level, or let us get some other coins or upgrades on the ground in future levels. I could use a Nitro here to get ahead of the A. I possibly should have been using Nitros earlier, looking at my... If I kept an eye on this, it might have been more obvious. Now the question is, can I use a Nitro and grab this and get ahead of the A? The A gets needs three moves. There's no way, right? If I doubled my speed, I'd be at, what, 640? There are 280. Yeah, so I get about two moves at every one of theirs. It would cost me 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So no, there's no way. I'm just going to sacrifice second place to grab this. Bad as that feels. This is the first time we've come below rank 2. Hopefully that speed upgrade... Um, Helps us going forward. We're essentially at the same speed right now. I'm counting on diagonals. Let me get ahead of this H. Worked. Can't really get ahead of this G. So we're all just following each other here. That E got turned around. I think he, his path was blocked by the B or something. He actually he came this way. He actually is running in a circle. Uh, B's actually in first. We're not too far behind them. Although, again, our speed is a... Oh, that was a waste. One of these guys is going to get turned around. Oh, no. Can I get ahead of the B if I use a double speed? Need three moves. I would need six. One, two, three, four. Five. Ooh, I think I could. <sighs> Barely not. That's unfortunate. Well, at least I'm going to get first on this map if I want to. Question is, do I want to go out of the way for any upgrades? I'm going to go this way. It seems like there's more open rooms. There might be more upgrades over there. And the path like was switching between both sides, so I know it's about the same speed. There's neither. There's no way. I don't even know how to get to that upgrade on the left. I wonder if this would have connected. I don't like how the stairs usually have this long um, single line corridor going to them. Um, it makes the steps that exit a little deceiving. Because if this is one corridor all the way to the exit, which it essentially is, I guess there's one turn here. I mean, that was really 30 or 40 was basically <laughs> how many steps to exit. I mean, you have to be like when you took first place if you wanted to maintain it. Um, but we got first there, so we're doing all right. Uh, they are faster than us now. This is actually getting really scary now. We're going to lose very soon. We have nine nitros. I wonder if I should just start using them. Now 
Now, if we can get ahead of other guys, we make them slower. Kind of like how they were slowing us down before. Hope that was worth it. I was going to see if this shot off this way, but it looks like it doesn't, so I'm just going to keep following here. Has to connect, right? Oh. That may have just cost us the game. <laughs> Checking those couple of tiles, that was bad. Ooh. Wow. Because of our diagonal movement, that actually cost me no turn to grab those two. Because I was just moving laterally while still moving straight across as fast as I can. Alright, we are going to lose very soon now. Just wasted turns there. I use another one. I'm trying to get ahead of these guys in the corridors. Sometimes you do it because they're AI. He actually just changes course a lot because I did that. Hmm. Do I want to grab that down there? I think I will. Cool. It looks like this kind of loops around, so it's not as bad as it looked like initially, which is what I was kind of hoping for. I don't know how useful those are this late in the game. 10% doesn't mean as much now as it did early on. But at least I'm barely keeping up with them. I only have two nitros left. I should use them for um, very advantageous maneuvers. Alright, so we're going to lose in the next level or two for sure. How fast these guys are. Oh, he moved down. I should use the nitro to get ahead of him. Two nitros left. I don't even think it's worth grabbing that. I can't look, I'm in seventh place. I need to just go straight to the exit. Going straight in the exit isn't even enough, actually. I need to pass someone. Ooh, okay. Those two nitros gave us a nice boost there. Seven to four. I really just wanted to get ahead of that H, because if we got ahead of at least the H, I knew we wouldn't have dropped in the, the bottom three and lost surely. Oh my my old friend the H. Oh he just made a, a dumb move there. This upgrade is free. That one up top, probably not worth it. I have no nitros, so I'm just going to stick to the path, use diagonals where I can, and pray. Like I said at the beginning, because of the way their speed increases, they will always, you will always lose at some point. And it seems to be right around here. I think last time I got to, was it dungeon level 12, dungeon level 14? I think my score was higher. We'll have to check. Well, I'm in 6th place, so as long as no one passes us... Nice. We, we didn't lose. We only got one point, but we didn't lose. So slowly, just keeping our, our points ahead. Um, I might have grabbed a coin there, which is points as well, obviously. Man, so they have 625 speed to our 420. This is brutal. It's not even worth grabbing that Nitro. Maybe it was actually. Wonder. 
No, it's not worth grabbing that. I just gotta try not to lose if I can help it. It might be worth if I if I know I'm gonna lose on this level, like it looks like I will will, it's probably just worth grabbing as many point upgrades <laughs> as I can find. Oops, I just failed to move diagonally. <laughs> Cost me a turn. Runner G sucks. I'm gonna lose and get zero points. Screw it. I'm going back. I'm looking for coins. <laughs> I deny my <laughs> my defeat. I'm gonna go try to get more score. All right, 117 on dungeon level 15, not bad. I think um, Xylan on the roguelike server said they got like 167, a really high score. Um, this is only my third game. My second one, I feel like I got a lot luckier on speed upgrades early. I, I think we could get a pretty good score on this if I if I played a few more, which I'm sure I'll do. I mean, this is just a a really fun game. Um, it's not very hack and slash roguelikey, but it 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 really um it's a roguelike in spirit and like in a lot of ways, just with the procedural generation, turn based movement, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. There's permadeath. Your your dungeon diving. Um, but it's a racing game, so it doesn't feel like, you know, the traditional roguelike that you think of normally. Um, but it uses all the elements to create a very fun game. Um, it's got some very simple mechanics, and they, they lead to some pretty, pretty deep strategy. And one note that I saw in the developer's write-up that was pretty interesting is that they said the, the upgrades are self-balancing because the decision that an optimal player would take to grab them is really based on how many turns it takes to grab the the item and how many turns it'll take to or that'll save you in the long run which is hard to predict if you don't know how many floors you have left like we talked about earlier um and i'll link the the itch page itch.io where the the game is hosted it's browser based you can play it on any system you guys can feel free to give it a, tr a chance and the the dev actually wrote a lot of, about the game Relative to a lot of the other um, seven DRLs I've played so far, so it's a it's a fun read to see everything that they talked about making it and some of the strategies and stuff. So I encourage you to go ahead and read that and check it out. Um, but thanks again for watching. As I said, this is a another top pick of mine of the seven day roguelike challenge this year. So I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did, and I'll see y'all next time.